Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to cover another flow requirement. So let's go ahead and take a look at the requirement. John is working as a system administrator at my tutorial rack. He received a requirement to count contact records where the mailing city equals Dallas. Okay, so we are going to achieve this. We are going to go ahead and count the number of contact records where the mailing city is Dallas. And then we are going to display that total count on a screen. This is what we are going to do. If you have to solve this problem with the help of Apex code, that's all you need, right? You just need three lines of code to display the total contact records which belong to the mailing city of Dallas. So here, what we have done is we created a new list, an empty list. Then we are doing a query to retrieve the ID and email from the contact where the mailing city is this. And then we are calculating, we are calling the size method on the list and which is going to give you the total number of records that are available in this list. Okay, this is how we can achieve this via the code. But we are not going to focus on this. We are going to see how we can achieve a requirement like this using flow. So we are going to create a new flow. In this flow, we are going to use a element called get records. Now, just like you have this query, we have a similar element available on flow, which we can use to retrieve the records. And to this get records, element you can pass your filter criteria as well so just like you have mailing city is equals to alfreda here or dallas we can pass in a filter criteria where it will check for mailing city is equals to dallas and then we can use there is a functionality called equal count okay it's going to go ahead and count the number of records we have this method available and we are going to use this and display us the total number of records so let's go ahead and take a look at how we are going to achieve this. So I'm going back to my Salesforce and here I am going to create a new flow and I'm going to call this flow as count contact records. Okay. So the first thing is I'm going to drop this get records on the screen. Okay. And what we are going to call, we're going to say retrieve contact records. And that's going to be the API name. Now it is telling you, it's asking which object records are you interested in? So I'm going to choose object as contact. So I'm interested in retrieving the contact record. Now, are you interested in retrieving all the contact records or you are only interested in retrieving specific ones? So we can put our filter condition over here. So here we can say where the mailing city where the mailing city equals to Dallas. That is going to be our filter criteria. Okay, so that is what I'm going to use is mailing city is equals to Dallas. So I'm going to go ahead and put Dallas as the mailing city. And then what I'm going to do next thing here is sort the contact records. Okay, are you interested in sorting the contact records? If yes, you can do it. Otherwise, I'm not interested. So I'm going to choose not sorted here. And then how many records do you want to store? So I'm interested in storing all the records. Okay. And then do you want to store all the fields? Yes. We have not created any variable or anything, but this is what we have done. So whatever records that were retrieved based on this filter criteria, we are going to store all those records. Now hit the done here. So this is the first element that I've added and I'm connecting it to my start element. Okay. So this is what we have done. Now the next thing is, we are going to use this assignment. Now, whatever records that came, we are going to count those records. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, this is the assignment element. Label is count record. And over here, set the variable values. Now, it is asking you to set up the va value of a variable, but we have not created any variable. So let's go ahead and create a variable and that variable will be of the type number, right? Because we are counting the total number of records. We're not interested in displaying which, which are all the contact records and all that. All we're displaying is how many contact records belong to the city of mailing city is Dallas. So we can say total number of contact records that is the variable i am creating now what is the data type it's going to be a number data type and if you have decimal places you can put it now if you want this 
data type to have multiple values like a collection of numbers if you want that you can check this checkbox but this is just a simple number which is going to be telling me how many contact records do i have if you want to provide a default value you can do that otherwise you can leave it blank and then where is this variable available is it available for input means are you going to be entering the values setting up the values or it is going to be used for output purpose how are you going to use this flow okay this particular how are you going to use this variable are you going to use it for input to storing something or for displaying purpose and then hit the done there is a operator this is a new feature this thing was not there equals count so it is going to count what it is going to count it is going to count the total number of contact records that got retrieved in the previous element okay so this is all that is stored over here okay so you can see here whatever the number of records are there that we that we retrieved in the previous element which is through the get records and we said that okay the filter criteria is mailing city is equals to dallas all those records automatically got stored into this collection variable and this collection variable is not something we created it got created when we created that element now we are using this operator called equals count prior to this what we used to do is we used to loop through each of those values and then we used to uh, assign and add it to a number to a count field okay but we don't have to do any of that there is this function available called equals count and it is just going to count the total number number of records that's available in this variable which is nothing but the value the total number of records that we fetched from here so this is the retrieved contact records element now this contact records element what you are doing it will have the records that you retrieve so all those records will be available in this particular variable contacts from retrieve contact records element okay so we did that now we're going to go ahead and connect these two now we have to display those records right we have to display so we are going to use a screen element here and all the screen element is going to do is going to display the total number of contact records so here i can say the label is total number of contact records and this is the one and now here i'm going to use a display text okay so i'm going to go ahead and display text for count and what i'm going to display here i'm going to say total number of contacts from mailing city dallas okay and now what is the total number of uh, records this is going to be which where is that value stored so that value is stored in this variable okay what is the variable the variable that we created was this one total number of contact record that is the variable we created in, in the previous element total number of contact record and all and what is the value of it it is equal to the count of total number of records we retrieved in that get record element so that's it now if you want to make it bold you can make it bold this thing will be bold and then hit the done here one more time here so in the assignment we created this variable right total number of contact records and you can even see that variable over here so this is the variable we created this variable is of the type number and it is available for input and we have checked both of these check boxes okay for input and for output the next thing is since we have set up the value now here we are setting up the value of that variable we are saying that this variable is equal to the contacts that have been retrieved from this element so it's not count it is equals count means it's counting the record so the total number and now we are going to connect these two so this is our flow so the same thing we could have done it via three lines of code but this is apex code right a system admin majority of the times don't know the apex coding so they can use a flow and flow is much more better it's less maintenance and anybody can update it or anybody can learn it right whereas compared to learning it a new programming language so that's why flow is very popular and a lot of enhancements have been made on this flow in the past couple of years salesforce has put a lot of work into building a very powerful flows and they are going to they are keep on working on it so that they can make it more powerful so a lot of things that initially were we were dependent on developers now we are not because now flows have been so popular that we don't need to write apex code to perform that kind of complex logic a lot of that logic can be easily achieved with the help of flows so now you can see 
what we are doing here is we first thing is we retrieved all the contact records okay this is the element name and we are using a get record element and uh, we are only fetching the records which belong to the city dallas and we are whatever the records we are we are storing it and where did it got stored automatically when we created this element this collection element also the collection variable got created call contacts from retrieve contact okay this is the collection variable and this collection variable has the records all the records that we retrieved this assignment it is basically setting up a value of the variable that is what the assignment does it sets up a value of the variable so over here we created a variable called total number of contact record that is a variable that we created and what is the value it is counting the number of records in this collection variable and then what we are doing is since that variable holds the total number of records in this collection variable we are just displaying that value over here so you can see here this is this variable holds the total number of contact records now let's go ahead and save this and i'm going to call it as count contact and then hit the save and now i'm going to run it i'm going to go ahead and run it here and uh, right now it says mailing city is 0.0, .0 okay and there can be a reason for that and the reason is if i go over to my developer console let's see if i can figure out how many records are there okay so now if i'm going to do a simple query select id comma mailing city from contact where mailing city equals dallas so there is no records but let's go ahead and put burlington because i'm pretty sure there must be a lot of records from burlington yeah we have one at least okay so there is no records that belong to the city of dallas so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to remove this execute it you can do the same exact thing from the ui itself but i'm just going to use this and i'm going to put dallas here again i'm going to put dallas and i'm going to put dallas okay so now i'm going to save these okay now all of this saved so now we know that there is minimum of three records from dallas okay mailing city is equals to dallas now you are going to see three records are going to be retrieved so if i go ahead and hit the execute execute here you have three records now so now if i go back and run this again now you should see the updated number of contact records from the mailing city dallas so this is the way you can even do it for opportunity records or for any other account records etc now you can put any filter condition here right now we only put the filter condition as mailing city is equals to dallas now if you want you can remove that filter condition and if you want to count the total number of contact records you can do that so all i'm going to do is i'm going to just change it to this it's going to retrieve all the contact records okay and then hit the done so now if i save it and run it it's going to give me the total number of contact records and we have close to 20 20 contact records are there if you go back to the contact records so if i see here if i go here and uh, go to contacts and if you do all contacts you can see here there are 20 items so the same number is displayed in our flow as well okay so flow is also displaying the same thing sorry this one that's the one which was from the previous condition so going back let me go ahead and add that condition that i had so where we are checking that mailing city equals dallas now if you want another condition or if you want an and in there you mean what do you mean by and means if you want to have uh, mailing cities uh, dallas and phone number is so and so or the contact name is so and so you can do that you can have and and as many conditions as you want just like you do it in your query by adding if and or or you can do the same thing over here as well and over here we are just displaying it so this is a new feature that came in which was equal count so you can count the total number of records in a collection variable so this is the flow we have built let's go ahead and activate it now we particularly don't need to kind of invoke this flow from anywhere it's a very simple flow and the purpose for this flow is to explain you about the get records element 
and also how we are going to use this assignment. I hope you guys are enjoying it and in the next tutorial we are going to do few more examples using these elements. So I'll see you then. Thank you so much.